God. I don't know, actually. It's been since Edith Finch since we last uh, streamed, and that was a pretty good amount of time ago. Uh, Mo was still here at that point. Um, I, I, I'm aware. I, I, it's been the first 10 seconds, my dude. Give me... You are not the top on the list. Not the top on your list? No, because you don't have a headset. I can fix that. No. I like how I got your phone charger and plug in your phone. And you plug in. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, this phone is at 13%, probably 12 at this point. Um, 13 Though I plugged it in and then looked, so it might have been a 12. Hey, you got one person watching. Is it you? It's probably me. Thanks, me. You've always got your back. I've always got my back. <laughs> All right. Yep. Uh, the, the artist formerly known as Dungeon Crawler. Yeah. But now he is known as Dravalos. Uh, you'd have to stream first. Fair enough, but it is easier to find. It is definitely easier to find. And I believe Night Sky? Was that your handle? Uh, Black Night Sky. I think we can just go with Sky or K at this point. Fair enough. Alright. So uh, I think we've wasted enough time. He's tired now in a moment. To yeah, tired to terrified. That's usually how I go. Uh, difficulty, uh, uh, oh, good, there's nightmare. Oh, there's story. Yeah, there's survival. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna do. We're gonna do normal. I think there's weapon degradation and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm okay. Oh no, you have to turn this on. on. Yeah, well, I think we're okay. Uh, you just turn them all on. I know. I was just, I was looking at what they were. Weapon degradation, trauma. Oh, Bone fracture, yes. concussion. Concussion. That's kind of Hemorrhaging and third degree burns and oxygen suit damage cause air to leak from your suit, limiting your air supply in environments with no atmosphere such as the station exterior. Uh, not interesting enough. Not interesting enough that I'm gonna take it. Am I me or me? Well, he looks like. He looks like more Asian Markiplier. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like he got some sort of like... Uh, some sort of uh, eye irritation there, pal. Male or female? Do I want pretty hair? Or do I just want to be a big... Yeah, a big stunning man. Yeah, I, I think I'll be the big stunning man. Right. Now entering your apartment. You wake up in your apartment in the year... 2032. This is not my beautiful wife. This is not my beautiful home. How did I get here? So, this. Yes, I'm trying to load. You're an astronaut waking up in your apartment? I mean, we You're don't. Which, one second, we haven't really, uh. Even started up the game. What? What are you talking about? We I, I picked a character. I don't understand the information we've already given. But we haven't been given any information yet. Uh, you know that your name is M.U. That, that's the literal amount of information we've gotten. And I read that off a name tag. Yeah. And we know that we're entering our apartment. Oh, here we go. Oh good, it loaded into a different loading screen. Oh good. Nothing I like more than double loading screens. Oh, now I can press X. X, press X. Good morning, to Morgan. Today is Monday, oh. March 15th, 2032. You know we should get play this game, Morgan? Hmm.
Oh, I got an incoming call. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. I think it's jammed. It might be jammed. You know you might need to fix that? Some people putting. That made no sense. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Wait. Wait, look down. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct by any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. And plagiarism. How is that a manual? That doesn't look like a man, that's a folder. The folder, inside that folder is just the manual. F Paradox. Oh, you got three emails. I'm so glad to hear, uh, you'll be coming aboard soon. First official work day is Monday. First, we'll have a series of training exercises we've run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear your life. Orbit. Exciting times ahead. Haha, -ha, Thomas Tucker. Hey, I sent a package for everything you need on your first day. Transcribe Neuromod. Start the Neuromod right away. Betty, hey, you got the phone with mom and dad. Ooh. They, they won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff. They send their best. I'm going to space. And my mom's not even there to say bye. I think it bothers her. She's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside of her gravitational pull at the same time. Apparently mom's really fat. Also, I just realized your phone is actually talking. Is my phone actually talking? Yeah, you have the stream up and the volume all the way. Not all the way down. Oh, well, I guess that now we know the I mean, volume I works. Recognize the sultry sounds of my own voice for distance. Oh, I better turn that off then. My voice. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Lucky is. Ah, of course the pizzeria is called P Lucky's. Puchias. Puchias and pizzeria. There's nothing I like the word than some luckies. Yeah, sleep with it. Open Neuromod. Press all right. Keep eye open. I feel like I'm already going to hate this. Oh yeah, definitely. Because I got an eye thing. So, wait, do you? Like, are you afraid of stuff going into your eye? Yeah. Oh man, you're going to fucking hate this game. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> so, by the way, how, how this came about was it went, Hey Nate! A.K.A. Rook. You want to borrow a game? You want to borrow for it? Yeah, you just bounced for me. Oh, 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 God. Are you, get, uh, are you getting sick, folks? A little bit. Um, and he's like, okay, what game? It was like, Prey. And he's like, fuck it, I hate myself. Get off the coffee table. <laughs> oh, Captain, my Captain. Hey, listen, how are you going to play your PlayStation Box 4? My PlayStation Box 4? Why not? PlayStation Box 4 20. Uh, uh, <laughs> extraterrestrial intelligence. Wow, that's definitely not going to come up. Principles of Neuroscience. I love that the Principles of Neuroscience is able to be condensed. Um, the Principles of Neuroscience 10th edition. Uh, all of these books are able... Oh, no, the, these are all different books. Okay. No, there's two of the same in there. I am not gonna bother. There's, there's medical stuff in there. Oh look, there's something to understand. Oh it yeah, I do. 
<laughs> That's not true. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You know how to get drunk. Congrats, Morgan. <laughs> Alex. Wow. It's called the Bloody Mary, damn it. Uh, I prefer. That is a book after Nate's own heart. What was it? I didn't even read it. Heart, heart of the, the walk. walk. Yeah! Heart of the Walk. Cooking with a well seasoned walk can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. And many la 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 layers of the blackened surface of stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel before, now imparting echoes of their rich flavor to every new meal. It's task to cook. Are you not supposed to clean a walk? Mm, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I clean it. Me, personally. Ooh, sudden dried tomato. Ooh, drink. it's think of food, science, and cooking. Ooh. You unplugged my phone. <laughs> what are you doing to me, guy? What are you doing to me? I'm doing it. You're the one telling him to go plug it in. It's at 14. I don't know if you saw that, but gluing chicken skin to Sam will actually protect the Sam. Oh. Interesting. That's it's not, not what I've read. That, that's not what I was reaching for. Crazy. However, that is a lovely little garden of spices. It's a little herb garden. I, you know, I'd, I'd like something like that someday. How about pants? Excuse me. Yes, maybe pants someday. That's not where you get your pants. What do you mean this isn't where I get my pants? The closet? Yeah, it's not where you get your pants this time. Oh, it must be near New Year's. Oh. Red envelopes. It's a cool closet, but that's not where you get your pants today. You miss those wires. This is tubing, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. There's the wire. You want a bomb? It kind of looks like a bomb. <laughs> no, it's not a bomb. <laughs> alright, alright, let's... You get your pants right there. Let's not. <laughs> oh. Did you just turn on the light? Oh, on, on, on. Oh. Alright, put on your pants. What do you mean I can't leave in just my underwear? Uh, tastefully wearing a pair of red boxers, socks, and a white beater. Yeah, look at that. Single hand. <laughs> I am now Morgan Yu of Star Command. Morgan Yu of Pants Command. Star Command. Oh, the, I guess the helicopter's through my closet. Helicopter, I'm coming. I th okay. What? You didn't even take a shower. I I I realized <laughs> I realized that too late. There's a shower in the uniform. Normal notice. Thanks. Ah. Uh, like sunshine. Oh, yeah, I know. Why? This would be a bitch for the maintenance to clean up while I'm in space. <laughs> you ain't got shit, maintenance. So I will tell you something. There is actually an achievement coming up for dying. And I'm going to see if you get it. Shit, you're clone. Didn't even wash your hands. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. That is shaving cream. That's so <laughs> Watch me zone out there. A fancy thing. Yeah, I'm rich. Are you? I mean, who keeps their ties in the bathroom? You try to tell me I'm not rich with like a view like this? <laughs> Look, that's that's the Golden Gate Bridge. Is it? I mean, it looks like the Golden Gate Bridge. It looks like your door's jammed. 
What's and that, that what? right there, that's a company with my name on it. Listen, I'm just saying, DigiWorks. Well, digital sometimes works, but not always. Get your underwear. Alright, you got your briefcase. Great fish. Great. Why is the outside wet? Is it? Some putting their dirty fingers all over it. You should definitely stand next to this person for a week. Morning, Mr. Yu. Hey, Patricia. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must yeah. be for you. How did you know there's a chopper <sighs> on the roof? You'll have to take the elevator. Down the hall. But you know that, I guess. What do you mean, I guess? Aren't you going to be late? These things can be tricky, you know? You're supposed to keep going. You're going to get me in trouble. I can't talk to you anymore. This is all fake. <laughs> Alright, you can move faster now. This is all fake. <laughs> this is all fake. I'm laughing because I like when Nate realizes things aren't real. My floor or the roof? me. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I'm serious. There's actually an achievement for dying. Come on. I have a feeling. What do you think of that? I have to sprint and get the helicopter hit me. I did it, gang. Is anybody actually watching? 
We are. Well, I meant just I like. Think like three people can be a game. I think he went on actual switcher, but press X. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to reload. Hey, Morgan. So, yeah, he's gonna go through Wake the up. Go You're burning okay. daylight. Get, we're just gonna hurry along, everyone. To Don't you worry. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. So See I actually did get that without knowing oh, the thing. Oh, listen, I am. Um, because I'm just an idiot really and I want to jump around. Really great, you decided to come on board. <laughs> the hell We're gonna shake please. things up, Morgan. Like old times. It's very environmental. Morning, Mr. Yu. How do you know my name? I'm okay with the maintenance woman knowing my name. Because that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, there's a second person. These things... There's someone on the roof. A waiting You can't. It won't let you. It'll break your immersion. Damn. It's actually got All right. Uh, Actually, moving forward from this facade. Echelon. Residential tower. You know, can I just say, like, shit's fancy. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility ah, is just a cute. short hop. 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. Here's the underway and saw all these clear skies here. It's the man, man. That's a nice view on the bay there. Well, now I know it's a projection. I'll drive to work. Thanks. <laughs> the car will be waiting for you on the road. Here we are, Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. He's not talking about that glass. He's talking about this glass. It's all glass. It's all fake. Do you know anything about this game? I mean, a little bit. Hello, Dr. Yu. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Which man? Transa has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More if you count the entire Earth Moon system. Excuse me. Yeah, excuse you. Oh, I know what that thing on your desk was now. That you picked up and you threw and said it looked like a bomb. Look at the science operator. Oh, so it is. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. My instruments are calibrated for high-volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. All our labs meet the minimum. If it's a strange, that's never happened before. I'll have to file a maintenance request. Please excuse me, Dr. Yu. I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. The elevator will take you directly to the testing area. Nope, 
can't talk to him anymore. What, 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 what? She said the minimum bitch. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Oh god, I confirmed they left me a box. Morgan, finally. How dare you, sir? <laughs> Fuck you, they removed all your buttons. Going a little rogue. Floor, orientation. Welcome, Morgan. You. Why is it behind me, then? I mean, that's pretty nice. But why is it behind me? And not, and not on that screen. Because that one's clearly trans -dye. Clearly, I'm the more handsome brother of the two. You got all the, you hey, got the, you, got the brains. you don't look terrible in a trans star uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Dr. Yu. I'm sorry, am I making you feel uncomfortable? I wish I could show you what I've been working on. You better get in there before Bellamy gets impatient. Mm. They're waiting for you, sir. I'm sorry, I'm waiting for you. I will put a shovel through you. No, wrong game. Yeah, there's no shovels in this one. Um, what? What the fuck? Hmm. Man, you gotta clean in the corners, dude. It's if you make your way into room A. <laughs> Why are there drag marks into the elevator? Oh, it moves in furniture. Into the elevator? Yeah. To a place where there is no furniture? Where the rest of the furniture is either built into the floor or the wall? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, how else do you move furniture? These guys have a real issue with cleaning. <laughs> you don't want to read the magazine? I did. Oh. Anything good? No. Alright. Hello, everyone. <laughs> good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Right. I'm not gonna Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B then. Dropped everything nicely. Yeah, that's not very you like. And yeah. normally you throw shovels at people. 
says I know okay, this is Morgan, fake. Okay, listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. How small am I when I crouch? Oh, Look. okay. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. register at all no no that's fine sorry let's keep things moving Morgan I don't I have a brain really you're doing marvelous you motherfuckers I'm an alien <laughs> you motherfuckers I'm an alien I figured it out <laughs> the only the only reason I wouldn't have synaptic resonance is if I didn't have a brain or synapses. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not mm -hmm. your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. See, this is for the malfunction while you didn't have snap it. I was hoping you hid behind the chair. Everything is about to go to shit. Maybe. Do you know how I know? How? There's things over there that's flashing. Oh yeah, it's pick up a whole thing. Yeah, they wouldn't let me go in there unless everything's about to go to shit. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. All right. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. A uh, square, okay. Square is action button. Okay. Read my love. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you love. Or try something new. Um, I'll go somewhere new. Unless I'm really craving Good. something I know. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your action. How does this make you feel? Calm, it was worth it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That sounds like the main answer. It does. Mm, but here's the thing. I don't know why I've been sentenced to death. Yeah, but how does it make you feel? If... If it's literally me, mm -hmm. probably calm. Because if I have killed someone, <laughs> if I have killed someone, that dude must have really had it coming. <laughs> That's heavy stuff. <laughs> Running train bearing down five people to try to attract. You concentrate and switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. So the okay, that's a that's a classic moral quandary. Is it more moral to do nothing and be separate from the situation, or is it more moral to sacrifice a less amount of people? Um, and I've flipped back and forth in that school of thought a lot. Uh, but I, at the moment, I'm in the school of thought where switching tracks is the most moral. Good. Next. 
You stand on a platform next to an extremely, enormously fat man. Pushing him onto the track would stop the train. This is the other variant of it, where if you're act- you're physically doing something, like it, like it's nobody's fault but, but yours that this person is dying. All right, so you're gonna push the fat man. Yeah, it's it's the same question. Almost it's just done. different. When you train is bearing down, five people tried to attack. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Push the fat man. <laughs> No, but yes, jumping onto the tracks. One one outweighs five. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. Um, In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... uh, My coffee. It's empty. Oh, my God. Security! Uh, um. Oh, no. Ow. Ow. I'm on the chair. Ah, <laughs> oh, death. Death. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Alright. My my theory. My working theory. Uh I'm one of those fuckers. I have taken the form that I'm in, and this is how they are keeping me, by making me live the same day over and over and over again, because it seems like I'm not learning anything. Because that's literally the only way you can keep someone who's not learning anything. You only have to sedate them. You only have to make them think that they have a choice. Like here, this, right here. That jammed door that keeps me from going outside and it keeps me from learning. It keeps me from having an option out. But there's options. A couple of times. An F paradox. And I have Leave now. Leave now. Leave now. Leave now. EOM. Thanks, EOM. Don't tell me if I'm right or not. Well, I'm not going uh, I could, but I'm just going to drink it. Congrats, Morgan. So but that wasn't there. Yeah, it was over here last time. There's two of them now. There's only one before. Oh, 
I'm okay, Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Okay. Uh. Uh. <laughs> sleep first. Uh, excuse me. A white bar. I thought you said white board. I was like, I can't read it. That's feeding into my theory. So it was all just what he does every day or what? Oh, it's uh, the pigeon test. You gotta, you gotta get the pigeons going. Oh, and uh, no, don't forget the, uh, the helicopter arrival. Oh, the wake up call. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. Set the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Yeah, just like old times. Hephaestus hefty twist loop handle. Uh, heart attack. All wrench tax straight and It's okay. I've always preferred a wrench. I like a shovel. Shovel is a nice versatile tool, and I knew something was hiding there. I knew it. What do you mean I can't use the emergency phone? This feels like it quantifies as an emergency. I'm out. I'm loose. I was laughing because like... Hi, I'd like to report that I'm loose. I K-pop. I cop. Thanks, Marco Simmons. Mmm, uh, K-op. Mmm, I-cop. Mmm, poor I-cop. So the reason why your eye was red, that comment, is because you put a nerve on your eye. Hmm.
Wait. I'm local. Let me know. What did that guy say his name was? Cause that looks like a J. Okay. I think it's a bunch of numbers. Right? And I think it's the same type behind it. One, six, three? Um... You need hacking level 3 in order to get in there. Okay. Sorry, that's a, that's a common one in uh, video games. Is it? 0451? Yeah, it was a... Fahrenheit 451. Really? Yeah. yeah. It was, it's the first puzzle lock in Bioshock. It's first... Uh, actually, in every single Bioshock, it's the first uh, code huh. that you interact with. Um... God knows where I am, actually. I mean, I don't see that. There's somebody talking with you, saying, get out of there. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, hey, it's the lock, one of the locked doors. Yo, Ma, can you please fuck off? Okay, do I go to this one? No, those are steel blinds, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Someone was thorough. Henry David Thoreau. I, I am. I was just grabbing what I can. Crafting, man. You've gone to the other side. You've been over here. Have I? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll trust your judgment on that one. That is kind of neat.
<laughs> Transition to scene. All right, well, Johnson. It's, uh, But what do you mean? I, I I've experienced no aggressive responses. Except for that one, it was worth it. <laughs> Though this game does have one of the coolest ideas for a grenade I've ever seen. Alex. Yes. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Hmm. Alright, we will continue this way then. Don't think I didn't see you, punk. I saw you. That's fine. Oh, sorry. For a moment there, I thought you were asking me. Yeah. So, Ryan, don't freak out. That This one is a mimic. Fair enough. Hey, Greta. Greta, what's also going on? Oh, nice. Yeah, that's... That comes yeah. Yeah, you bitch. You think I'll see you? Gonna get spooped. Ha. Interesting. You gotta have a really pretty box. That's tried blood. No, Joven. I tried Joven. Oh wow, that's that's horrific. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. 
Just a little further. A banana peel. I'm gonna keep that there for now. The med kit. Cause I don't wanna use it. Oh. I didn't see any com thing for that. I think it does. I think you think of Alien. It might be. Is that your own I think so. That yeah. Something's moving. Because anything could be a, a creature. Do I have hack one? No, I don't have hacking one. You lied to me. Failed all three tests last time. Actually, reading these until I hear a bling bling. Uh, by the by, I think you smash open those flower cases. You can collect them. Oh, nice. Yeah, but those aren't like. I 
I saw earlier that fire tests were canceled indefinitely. That was a phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. Ow. Yeah, I wanted to throw that. That didn't throw. Oh, I have a light. Oh, neat. Um. One in every hand. Bow, 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 bow. Do, 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 do. I should be enough for now. The apple. But I'm a doctor. Oh, yeah. Ooh, what a Stranger Things trail. No, I'm, I'm just getting used to it. I got something for you. Right here. Oh, wow. Natasha, come on. Natasha, come on. Natasha. Natasha, come on. Natasha. Thanks, Natasha. You know, I'm gonna die here. I can go for one more lemon, though. <laughs> just, just bite into it like an apple.
feel like hacking is going to be the most useful. Don't. Nope. I'm not even looking at it. Nope. No part of it. Improvisation has always been your strength. You'd be dead if it wasn't. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Think a lobotomy, but like instead of making making you dumb and like like yeah. You ain't got diddly. You ain't got diddly. Maybe I don't know. Uh, we're gonna do this. Uh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Actually, I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Zhao Long Heng. Thank you, Zhao Long. Okay. Space bidet. Does anybody need a smoke? Oh, I went into the ladies' room first. How rude of me. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, I'm surprised I didn't find anybody hiding in these bathrooms. Because that seems like... Like, with a door like that? Like, that seems pretty secure to me. But then I looked up. And I realized those things can crawl on walls and shit. That's not safe at all. A favorite wheel. All right. No, well, I'm not ready to go to the lobby yet. There are still other things in here, I feel. Skill recording room. Mysterious contact named January is guiding you to the main lobby of this facility. You know, these loading times are, like, really fucking brutal. Yeah. Actually, in fairness, I haven't seen a loading screen since the beginning. 
So, the, at least the areas are really big. Ooh, wow, that's a that's an opening for a scene. You made it. Ready for your first real view of the world? Wow. This dude got it rough. Like his face got all melty and stuff. We just met Melty Face McGee here. Oh no, I took it all. I don't remember. Oh. We're in space. Huh. Fair enough. I mean, I left the option open. its animations. Yeah, they... No, drinking from two butter fountains. Thank you. There we go. 70 should be keep me nice and juicy. <laughs> Counselor Dr. Cole would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. Hmm. Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Ow. Maybe he's all. This whole armor thing doesn't help at all, does it? I know. Oh, you have a lot of questions. No, not that far at all. Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Good morning, Talos. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. Yes, Ryan, thank you. Don't back the king.
survival sound is critical. Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. out into the open, shall we? Then like this, you become much more easily managed. You just okay. What? Oh, I was That's Form and exemplar loves are also eligible to receive neuromods. So, like, the better you do, the better you become? Interesting. Get in there, yeah. Fuck. Uh, yes and no. There were two. There were two. Where's the other one? There it is. There we go. 
go. It, it probably will later. Space elevator. Sanitation. Better be something nice in that other bathroom. They're all unisex bathrooms. Everybody's going to the bathroom in these ones now. All right, Johnny. What's behind door number one? Okay. Which one's going to be the jump scare? As it was done, I love Johnny. Back to you. All right. Just gonna wander around. I wonder what sun dried tomato jerky is. It's jerky made out of tomatoes. That's. I mean. I don't see why I wouldn't. Are you friends? Error. Item adjustment required. Checking for updates. Servers offline. You are friend. <laughs> yeah, get him, friend. Yeah, it just said it wasn't an alien. Scanning target, no alien material detected. No, not an alien. I'm not convinced though. The boy! Murder! No! Friend! Come at me, you pleakly fuck. Oh, you bastards. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, you're right, you're right. All we need to do, nope, nope, that's bound to have full of shit. Right, we're gonna find, we're gonna find you. Find you something. We're gonna find you somewhere. Ready to scan. Scanning target. No type of material detected. Interesting. Is that where we are?
I think I look better in green. 2030, 2025, 1980, 1960, 1963. A top secret Cold War negotiation. Used cigar. Thanks, JFK. Uh, we hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on. What? Okay, now I'm. Yeah, now I'm interested in the lore. <laughs> So it went to the moon in 1969. A top secret Cold War 19... Oh, okay. So the Soviets and the Americans worked together. Nineteen sixty-four. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. Oh, 2025. So the Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. 2030. Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. It's a, uh, it's a significantly different reality. <laughs> yeah, instead of fighting the Cold War together, uh, Kennedy was assassinated. He got handsome and, like, he turned to a gray fox. How you doing, Kennedy? Don't you judge me. <laughs> you seen Kennedy? Kenny's handsome as hell. Yes, and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think we will uh, call it there for the night. I uh, will probably pick it up either uh, tomorrow or the day after. Um, God, it's been so long. I forgot my own... Uh, Send off. Yeah, that was yours. Yeah, I came up with it. Well, that sucks. Well, until next time, everybody. Good night.